Hello everyone. Welcome to CMD lectures. In the last class we discussed about the various keys. What are the importance of keys? Okay. How to design the keys for a various applications? Okay. In this today's session will be dealing with the joints. Okay. So it may be of quarter joints and knuckle joints. Okay. So we'll go with the PPTs. So today's topic is quarter joint. Okay. So first we'll see this. What is quarter joint? So here the quarter joint is used to connect rigidly the two axial rods, okay, or bars which are subjected to axial tensile or compressive forces. Okay. So these. Are the joints are we used to connect the two axial rods? It may be circular rod, it may be square rods. Okay, it may be our bars. Okay, so which are going to subject it to the tensile or compressive force. Okay, so coming to next point, it is a temporary fastening. It means that it can be assembled and disassembled very easily, very quickly. Very fastly, okay. So it is a not a permanent fastenings. Okay. So coming to that, a joint or the cotter. Okay. What is that cotter? As shown in the figure, you can see over here. Okay. So this is a cotter. Okay. So this one is a as shown in the figure. This is called as a cotter. So what is that cotter? It is a flat. wedge shaped piece of rectangular cross sections okay it will be like in this shape okay it is a rectangular in shape wedge shape of rectangular cross sections okay so width is tapered either on one side or both the sides okay So next, coming to the applications of uh, quarter joints, okay, to connection of the piston rods with the cross heads of the steam engines, okay. Next is the joining of tail rod with the piston rod of the pumps. Next is foundation bolts. Next is a connecting of two halves of the flywheel. Okay, it may be called as the Do quarter and double arrangements. Okay. So, in coming to next is the types of quarter joints. We have the three types of quarter joints. One is quarter joint with sleeves. Okay. Next is socket and spigot quarter joint. third one is strap joint with gib and cotter okay so let's study one by one okay so next is the very first one is cotter joint with sleeves okay so here in this figure we have shown you the assembly and sectional views of sleeves and cotter joint so here we are having a a sleeve so this one is called as sleeve okay and we are having a two rods okay so these are the rods okay they are joined by the with the help of two quarter joints so this is the arrangement and you can see or a small gap between the quarter and the sleeve that is called as clearance for that 
okay so this is the arrangement of sleeve and quarter joints okay so next coming to the next is that next is socket and spike cord quarter joint so here it is a three elements are there okay the socket is one element second is a quarter is there and third one is a spike cord okay so you can see over here how the assembly drawing is there okay so totally we are having a three elements so this is a socket and and this is a quarter and this is a spike cord okay so these two parts are being joined by the with the help of quarter provided in the slots okay so next is that so here we are coming with the next is the strap joint with gib and quarter so here the rods are not the circular one when you are connecting the rods or the shafts of square shafts okay in that time we are going to use with the strap joint with gib and quarters okay so here whatever the red color you are seeing in the figure so that is a square shaft square shaft and the green color one is called as quarter joint quarter and blue color is one is called as a gib so uh, we have seen the gib head keys in the same manner it will be there okay okay so it will be in this, this form next is the quarter and the yellow one is called as it will be in the form of fork okay is called as strap okay so this is the strap and this square shaft are being joined by the with the help of quarter as well as a gib heads okay so therefore this is called as a strap joint with gib and quarter joints so basically this is only for the square shafts are involved okay so coming to the next of uh, what are the parameters are there okay so what is the d here the d will be the diameter of rod so d1 will be the outside diameter of the sockets d2 will be the inside diameter of the socket spike cords okay so all these things are being explained over here okay so l will be the length of quarter t will be the thickness all these things okay in the next class we'll study about the the uh, how to draw this all the three kinds of quarter joints hope you understood this concept of the types of joints quarter joints and how they are being joined okay in the next class we'll be dealing with the all the assembly parameters thank you